Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. So in today's class, we are going to learn how to interface the DHT11, humidity as well as temperature sensor along with the Arduino. Okay. And we are also going to test the DHT11 sensor. Okay. So this is as a part of integration of sensors and actuators with Arduino. Okay. So first, let's see what is this particular DHT11 humidity as well as temperature sensor. Okay. So DHT11 module, it's actually a feature of or a combination of temperature and humidity sensing. Okay. With a complex as well as calibrated digital signal output. Okay. So it provides a digital signal with respect to both temperature as well as humidity. Okay. So this temperature includes an NTC. It's a kind of thermistor in order to measure the temperature uh, based on the resistive type. Okay. So both humidity as well as temperature will be based on the resistive changes. Okay. Uh, when the uh, parameter changes with respect to uh, environment. Okay. So these are connected with a high performance 8 bit microcontrollers, which offers excellent quality, fast response, as well as cost effectiveness. Okay. So these can be uh, integrated uh, with an 8 bit microcontrollers in order to have these all these qualities quality, response, fast response, ability. Okay and uh, with respect to cost effectiveness okay they provide high performance see actually this is a dht uh, module which looks like this it can be any kind of company make it can be chinese or any kind of company make that will be having uh, three pins one is vcc one is ground and the last one is the data okay so sometimes in few models the pin may be naming uh, changes here and there okay no need to worry about that. So on the whole, we will be having three pins, VCC ground data. Okay. So, so with respect to data pin, uh, data pin goes the, for the Arduino connection. Okay. Where the data can be taken or considered ground goes to the ground pin of the Arduino and VCC goes to the positive five volts of the Arduino. Okay. So this will be operating mostly on 3.3 volts or five volts. Okay. See, this particular sensor, DHT11, has an thermistor and humidity sensing components. When the temperature changes, the resistance with respect to the thermistor also changes. Okay. So, so this change in resistance is measured and the temperature is calculated from it. Similarly, the humidity sensing component also consists of moisture holding substrate which is sandwiched between two electrodes, okay? So I'm talking about the humidity sensing device, which is integrated in the DHT11. So when the substrate absorbs the water content or the moisture from the atmosphere, the resistance between the two electrodes decreases, okay? So this particular change in resistance between the two electrodes is somewhat related to the humidity or proportional to the relative humidity, okay? So what happens? If there are higher relative humidity, uh, decreases the resistance between the electrons, while the lower relative humidity increases the resistive between the electrodes. Okay, so higher relative humidity decreases the resistance between the electrodes, and the lower relative humidity increases the resistance between the electrons. So based on this, the humidity can be calculated. This particular change in resistance can be measured with the microcontroller or the Arduino, okay, which will be having an inbuilt ADC, okay, where the relative humidity can be calculated. So, see, if you see the graphical image over here, you can clearly observe, okay, whenever there is an uh, rise, increase or decrease in the humidity or the temperature, okay, according to that, the data will be calculated. So, this is the circuit diagram of an uh, uh, DHT sensor. Uh, interfaced with the Arduino, as I've already said, this particular sensor will be having three pins, VCC, ground, as well as data. So VCC pin of the sensor goes to the 5 volts pin of the Arduino, ground pin goes to the ground pin of the Arduino, and the data pin, according to the code, what we are uh, using, that data pin of this particular DHT sensor goes to the second pin of the Arduino. So this is how 
the connection need to be done no need of breadboard you can directly connect to the audio so coming to the program or the code with respect to the testing our uh, dht11 sensor okay we already have an inbuilt code in that so i will explain you how to take that code you need to go to file okay after that go to examples in examples if at all you, you need to install the dht libraries okay so in the dht libraries so you will find dht sensor library like this okay so in this dht sensor library you need to select dht tester you can take any one of the uh, program i am taking the dht tester if you open the dht tester you will find a window like this where whole program is written with respect to the dht11 uh, uh, sensor testing okay so let me give a quick overview of this particular instructions so we are using an header file uh, with respect to library hash include dht.h okay and our dht pin is connected to the second pin of the arduino okay almost all the libraries or the instructions are inbuilt okay so here we have three things one is has defined dht type d dht11 has defined dht type dht22 and has defined dht type dht21 okay so what type of sensor we are using dht11 right so we need to select only dht11 okay remaining all are uh, kept in the comments okay so see that dht11 is highlighted or uh, used in the instruction so everything is in build dht 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 pin comma dht type void setup we are using a serial uh, uh, monitor so serial dot begin 9600 is the baud rate okay we are going to see the output in the serial monitor so it will be printing dx dht some xx test okay so once the dht dot begin it goes for the loop uh, in that loop what we need to measure we need to measure with respect to humidity as well as temperature okay so we are using an instructions like float h equal to dht dot read humidity in parenthesis semicolon okay or in bracket semicolon and float t is equal to dht dot read temperature in bracket semicolon and float f is equal to dht dot read temperature if it is true okay so everything uh it all are inbuilt inbuilt functions where we are using with respect to temperature and humidity and we have a uh, few these things if h is there t is there f is there okay values are true uh, if at all it is not able to read the data okay so if the values are not true it will be uh, printing fail to read from the dht sensor otherwise it will be keep on uh, reading the data and it will be keep on displaying the values with respect to uh, a small amount of delay okay so this is how that humidity temperature heating index everything will be uh, displayed on the serial printed on the serial okay so this is the overview of the program what i am giving you right now okay so this is inbuilt program i have not written any program i'm just using the program which is inbuilt and uploading the code into the board and just checking whether the dht11 is giving the temperature and humidity values or not that's it once the connections are made this is how it looks it's an dht sensor connected to an arduino okay so here in this the last end pin is vcc where it is connected to the 5 volts and the middle pin is the data pin okay so it is connected to the pin number two and the last pin is ground pin it is connected to the ground of arduino okay so if you see over here i have already uploaded the program you can see the status done uploading okay so once we upload the program you need to check the output on the serial monitor this is a serial monitor you can clearly see the humidity and temperature it is showing humidity is around 70 percent and temperature is around 33 degrees celsius okay so let's see 
changing the temperature as well as humidity okay so i'm uh, putting my finger on the sensor okay so let's see if there is any change with respect to temperature and humidity so if you see over there there is an change in the humidity okay it is sensing some moisture from my finger so there is some change in the humidity and the temperature is almost the same okay so let me remove my finger so let's see what is the standard uh, reading so again the humidity is getting low okay so in order to increase the temperature i have this uh, soldering iron okay so i am going to keep this near the sensor and let me check the temperature so from temperature from 33 degrees it need to go high as i have kept the soldering iron so if you clearly observe it is it went from 33 degrees to 34 degrees right okay let me put it close so see 34 to 35 it has increased it is going high the temperature is slowly increasing okay see as i kept the soldering iron near to the sensor the temperature is keep on increasing when there is a heat there will be moisture content will be humidity will be low right okay so if you see there the humidity keeps on decreasing as the temperature increases the humidity is getting low okay let me remove the soldering iron now let's see the temperature and humidity values need to come down now the humidity is around 50 percent and the temperature is around 43 okay let's see slowly the temperature and humidity changes it comes back to the normal so see if you see over there the temperature is slowly decreasing from 43 it has fallen to 42 now it it went to 41 see as the temperature is uh, decreasing the humidity percentage is increasing see So the, this is how we test the sensor, okay, DHT11 sensor with respect to interfacing with Arduino, okay.